Section 8, 2, example 8 and 9, um, our or just 8, our final shape is circles with centers on the, on the axis. So we learned early in the section that r equals 2 is a circle, or r equals a is a circle centered at the origin. So these are different circles. They're no longer centered at the origin. And so you can see them below. If we get r equals a cosine or a sine theta, so similar to rose curves, but now they don't have a coefficient. We get circles, they have a diameter of a, so the radius is halfway, so this is distance a. Um, and they pass through the origin, so you see they're all touching the origin, but they have a different center. And you can just see, they just kind of rotate, so they might be above, below, right or left, depending on sine or cosine or positive or negative. And so for me, I don't memorize these four cases, I just know this pattern makes a circle and I find a couple points, and that kind of takes care of the circle for me. So when I see r equals two sine theta, I know it makes a circle. And then I kind of figure out the rest of the details by finding a couple points rather than trying to memorize all that. So let's do the same thing. So we'll plot a couple points. Since we don't have a coefficient, I'm just gonna go ahead and do those standard points. When I say coefficient, I mean on theta. So I'm just gonna do zero, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. So these are my go-to choices unless theta has a coefficient. So 2 sine 0 gives me 0. 2 sine pi over 2 gives me 2. 2 sine pi gives me 0. Um, this is our last example, so I'm going through the table faster. But if you want practice, pause and try them. 2 times sine of 3 pi over 2 gives me negative 2. And then 2 sine of 2 pi brings me back to 0. So the circle will help me know what I'm looking for, but the points will help me figure out exactly where this circle is. All right, so let's do some plotting. So 0, 0 is easy. It's just right in the middle. So we're going to start at the origin, which makes sense. Remember, all of these touch the origin. And then pi over 2, we go out to 2. So 1, 2, pi over 2 is right here. So it looks like we probably have the circle on top. It looks like it's going to be this case, but let's see what happens. So then pi brings me back to zero, so we're just back here. So my guess is we're making circular motion out and in. But let's see, 3 pi over 2 and negative 2. So since 3 pi over 2 is down here, the reflection brings me back here. And then 2 pi brings me back to zero, so we're back in the middle. So yeah, the circular motion's on top. What's happening is it's just going back and forth, back and forth. And I only knew it was doing that because I knew the base shape, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't have necessarily known it went this far out. So you can always add more points, but I think knowing the base shape means I don't have to do that. But if we want to check, like let's try a point in between, maybe pi over 4. See what happens if you're not convinced. Sin, 2 times sine of pi over 4 would be 2 root 2 over 2, or root 2, which is what, 1 point, I should know this, 1.4-ish. So let's check if that makes sense. So pi over 4, yeah, 1.4 makes sense with what I drew, because that's halfway in between 1 and 2. Um, should we check pi over 3, just because we want to be sure? 2 times sine of pi over 3 would be what? 2 times root 3 over 2, or root 3, which is about 1.7. So pi over 3 is right here, 1.7. Yeah, it makes sense. So if you're not confident, add more points. But again, I think if you find the base shape before you start, you can find the curve with just a couple points. So this is a circle. It has a radius of 1 because 2 is my diameter. And where's the center? The center would be... Oops, I'll 
degree, draw the circle. The center would be right here at zero, one. Radius of one and center of zero, one. So it looks like the center and the radius are basically half of the two right there. So be patient in this section. Um, find the base curve, find the, the shape, and then plot a couple points. And you can always add more.